caloric surplus caloric surplus caloric surplus i made a video about this not so long ago but i don't mind re-explaining myself so the body works like this and and this is just speaking in general before i get to the specifics but let's say it takes hypothet do not run with these numbers let's say it takes somebody's body a thousand calories to just be alive because it costs your body calories to sustain itself so a thousand calories and say that person eats a thousand calories their weight will be the same that's called a maintenance now if their body requires a thousand calories, but they're eating one thousand five hundred calories, look at the gap they just made. Boom. That little gap is considered the surplus and the amount of weight you can kind of register and pace yourself by. But here's where it gets a little tricky. Somebody like me, we're considered hard gainers because of our metabolism plus my activity level. Now, if I'm not lifting weights, I'm running miles. If I'm not running miles, I'm doing mobility and speed drills. If I'm not doing that, I'm training clients like I'm always on the go. I've always been a rather lean person. But let me show you something. I was stuck at 145 for the longest. I always did track, did basketball, soccer, X, Y, and Z. But the moment I started figuring out caloric balance, that's when this happened. And it didn't take long for this to happen. Now, granted, I had to eat a little bit more because my metabolism is crazy. I kid you not, if I was to just like even not work out for a week and just continue to just do my everyday thing, and, or let's just say I, I do nothing, I just go throughout the week. I could lose about five to 10 pounds and just eating on a regular rest day calorie set like I normally do. And that's just how my body is. I'm one of those anomalies to where it's like it doesn't take much for me to augment my weight. And there's a lot of people that's like that. Now, granted, some people have conditions. Some people have different things that's holding them back or pushing them a little too far forward. But me, I'm just a naturally fast metabolic person. So how I debunk that, because I want to do it the healthy way. I didn't want to just bulk on pizza and hamburgers. I'm not I'm not doing all of that. What I did was I, mo I made sure that I focus on the macronutrients that I needed, but I sourced them properly. A I eat, me personally, I'm an 80-20 person. 80% fruits and vegetables, 20% meat. To be quite honest with you, I notice the older I get, the less and less meat, meat that I eat, but I can still manage my weight. I'm still healthy. When I get my blood work done, all of my vitamins and minerals are exactly where they need to be. So, And, and there's people that's plant-based out there that's doing it, doing it how they need to do it. There's bodybuilders that's plant-based. So I'm not saying that that, you know you need meat to accomplish this to uh, gain or lose weight but what i am saying is there's a lot of methods to it but we always want to choose the most holistic and healthiest method so to bring it back around town and answer your question make sure that you're knowing how many calories your body requires or based off of your current activity level throughout the week to maintain and then you slightly eat above that which requires you to track what you're eating and pay attention to what you're eating so take off the little tidbits that i gave you and run with that or you could just join the team. This is one of my clients. She's been with me since, oof, I want to say about two and a half months so far, two and a half, roughly three months. And this is all natural. She's not on any type of special pills. She didn't go do any type of surgery. All we did was focus on a nice, good, clean diet. She works out with me four to five times a week and we rest accordingly. I specialize in wellness and weight loss. So you're not just burning weight down. You're actually getting healthy in the process. This is another client that I have. This did not take long either. And I'm one of those type of people to where I want you to do it the right way. I don't care if it takes three months. I don't care if it takes six months. Let's do it the right way. And I can keep showing you client after client, you know, but you get the point. Basically, what I'm saying is if you need further assistance and you want to join the program, come hop in. And we got to throw a little scripture up in there just to put a little razzle dazzle on. Proverbs 16 and 3 says, commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. This reminds us to commit everything that we do to God. Not only will he motivate, not only will he direct, but it's going to be for our greater good. It's going to be way better than we possibly could have done it ourselves. And then guess what? The results at the end are permanent. So lock in and tap in. God bless you. Have a good one.